somebody wanted to know Ed Cruz fake channel E Cruz explain the meaning of life, the purpose of life then you want me to put in text the purpose of life you don't know the purpose of life and if, if you don't know the purpose of life what are you going to do stop eating food stop going to the bathroom stop caring about people you love or stop having love at all in you stop laughing stop crying but you you're gonna you you need a book or a special god to worship to have purpose in life and you say that my videos are if you're a real person you could be a bot i don't know People are really messed up, man. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even putting a costume on for this video. I'm tired of this crap. Jeez, you say my stuff is mockery. What do you want? Want me to be mean? Why not have a little fun? You, you need a special God to worship, to have purpose in life. Instead of knowing that I don't know how I got here. But I know who's with me. The people around me that I should care about. My pets. Your family, whatever family you have. If you can communicate with them enough to to help each other, if your destruct family's destructive, well, it's harder to do that, isn't it? The purpose of life. Now you say my channel is is mockery, and uh, that's on me. Yeah, it is on me because I was shitted on by your religion. Well, not yours, but another another kind of your religion I gave my life to that shit that candy coated blood guilt cult I don't have to apologize to that it needs to apologize to me but I can't get that because I understand that people were fooled and people are still fooled so there's nobody left to condemn Except the ones that are doing it on purpose to you fools. You're following the scriptures. The script that's yours. Not mine anymore. And you're all fighting over the script on how to perform it. How ridiculous. And you wonder why there's no peace in the world through your gods. Idiots. You really are. Some of you are well-meaning. But you're behaving idiotically. And we all do that without books. Why add to it by reading men's instructions? What you need to do in life is all around you. It's all around you. It's in front of you. It's called your life. And the ones that you relate with. Books can say nice things. And they can say terrible things. But you can't put it in a blender and say it's good. You're indoctrinated. You're in a pickle jar of verbal word spell indoctrination. And you go to the brainwashing building with your Bible tucked under your arm or whatever, or whatever book you use, to be another code of indoctrination. And then that hardens. Next week you get another code. I went five times a week. So, I don't regret it. I learned from it. And I still do mistakes now in my life. 
is called destructive behavior. But ultimately, ultimately, it is my life. The faults and the good parts. You think you've got up there looking down at you all every moment saying, I did that wrong. He did that wrong. Oh, he's not following my instructions. You better read the book of Acts tonight. You're out of your mind. You've gone nuts. By the way, you better read the Bible if you believe in the Bible as God's word. For and by yourself, without any man, person, or hermaphrodite, or whatever you want to call a dite, telling you what it's supposed to mean. And the Bible will tell on itself because the universal truths that are within it, that are within just about everything, will fall apart. The man-made doctrines will fall apart all by themselves because they don't mix with the universal truths. How we say, put yourself in the book. Play the good guy, play the bad guy, have your family in there. And say, is this is, is this what God would do want me to do to these other people? Is this is what God would want these other people to do to me for being different? All these people on the earth have been struggling for survival since they've been here. God's not suffering if God exists. The reason why I did my other channels is because my parents are super Christians and they're hanging on by a thread to their faith because it's all they have. When you're wired that way all your life, it's all you have. But don't tell other people they're going to hell for not believing like you. My parents go out of their way for people. There's nothing I can do. They're good people. Let them be. I let them be. They know I don't believe the same as them anymore. My brother is a mess. He's homeless, on drugs. He's more than just homeless. His body's broken. He's hanging on. He's, you wouldn't even understand. He's there. Three minutes later, he's not. This is what religion did to him. Don't believe me? I don't care. I know it did. I talked to him throughout the years, and I talk to him even now when I can, which is very rare. You see, it's like a it's like a bad drug. Some people can take.